Uh, well, I I saw uh, like part of the documentary uh, moments, and I think the first question and the two the second question is like the same for me because well, I think you know a lot of things related to the things that we don't understand about each other's culture is about um, the appearance or like the surface things, but deep down it's actually the same thing, and it's just like the two sides of one coin. So when it comes to the thing that we don't understand about uh, the Western or about the uh, Chinese culture, I think um, every time I think about this question, I go deeper down to like um, the like uh, morality sense, morality or the like the very core part. For example, um, Chinese, they do plans for uh, for like next 10 years and next 20 years, but for Europeans or maybe for Westerners, they just live in the moment. And um, this is the, it looks like, but, you know, according to like uh, Hofstede's uh, five dimensions of the culture, it's like, it's actually about risk averse, whether or not being risk averse. So that's, I think that's the, um, that's the, like the core of the culture, which is different. And um, I want to talk about um, that what Westerners don't understand about China. So I think, you know, for me, because I just went back from Europe, so I, you know, what I see or what I, um, I'm currently talking about is just like what I think currently and is not, it, it's, it, it may not be very comprehensive and it may be there there may be some misunderstanding or uh, maybe in the future I don't I won't think the same I, I don't know but for me for for now I think um, the thing that most Westerners don't understand about China is that our center of morality is based on um, utilitarianism utility utility Utilitarianism. I don't know how to say it in English. It means that uh, when you do things, the the like the 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 principle or the morality center, the the like the core uh, principle that guides you to do that thing is based on you want the interest to you want the benefits or you want the interest to be maximized. How to say it in English? Is utility. Uh, yeah, utilitarianism. Yeah, utilitarianism. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think that's the most. Because you know, for me, I I went to uh, Europe. I went to Denmark. Um, when the when the pandemic is really uh severe and um there were a lot of cases and now there is still there are still a lot of cases in Denmark, and um you know I compared what. Danish people do, and I compare with how Chinese people do, and they are uh, clearly they are very different. I mean, for example, in China, um, we have this kind of policy, um, you know, because I'm a exchange student there, and when I try to fly back to China, uh, I need to do uh, I need to do a COVID uh, COVID test. Uh, I need to test. I need to have a proof that I am uh, negative, and I also need to do the antibody test within 48 hours to prove that I'm actually uh, COVID negative to order to get back to China. So I think you know, at some point, I I, I completely understand that is is like is to uh, maxim is to make sure that. Um, People are safe in China because we have a lot, large population, and but at some point I think it's kind of like uh, sacrifice a, a small amount of people's interest to gain the best of the group because you know for for us for us you know students when it comes to can go back to China during this uh, tense situation intense situation is it's quite uh, stressful but um, that's what Chinese do um, to you know to avoid this kind of things, but I think for for Westerners, for example, when I was in 
org. Um, they tested they tested there is a new kind of COVID uh, virus in uh, a kind of animal. I don't remember what kind of animal. Uh, but the the government decided to you know kill all these animals, all these kind of animals, to in order in order to uh, prevent the virus from spreading. But um, this this decision does not uh, does not uh, you know uh, it was did not uh, was not being approved by the like majority yeah majority of the governments. So um, the Danish people were like super mad and they are like, I do think this kind of you know is this kind of thing is completely unreasonable because although we support you to kill this kind of animal, um, it doesn't matter whether we agree or not. It's you just you didn't follow the procedure. You need to gain the majority of support from the government and then you can um, you know you can do this kill these animals after you get uh, the approval, but you didn't. And you just and you just you you know kill all these animals without without others approval so and so uh, so procedurally is not uh justice uh, so the the go to the the, mar the go on a march and a lot of people like uh thousand or more thousands of people they gather together to uh to to march to um to uh say government's did was wrong so but it at some point it actually make the pandemic just worse because when people gather together it's really easy to spread the virus and but what they more they care about more is in you know what they care more about is the whether or not the procedure is justified not the result but for chi chinese maybe the you know, pay more attention to whether the the result is justified rather than the procedure. Well, I think it's a very uh, difficult question and it's very hard to say because, um, well, at some point, I'm quite confident that um, Chinese culture will be more open and, uh, you know, uh, more tolerant in the future, you know, because, uh, for example, in my parents' situation, they are not very uh, diverse. They are not very, they don't tolerant for, for example, LGBTQ growth. And but for our generation, we are more and more open to the, these kind of new things. And we are more open-minded and more diversified with all kinds of different groups. So I think Chinese culture, I think the we will be most of people will be more and more tolerant. It's a, like a big trend, but also it tends it, it seems that I think people are you know the the um let me think how to say it in English. Uh, it's more like people will more be more um different, just like the the diverse the the tolerant people, the diversified people will be more and more open to to the to the new things and the like not very well educated people will be more and more closed to new things and i think that's probably what i my anticipation towards the future and i think sometimes it's, it's a very difficult question because you know, before the pandemic i thought Chinese is more and more open to the uh, to the outside world or to the uh, to the internationalization trend. But after the pandemic, I feel like more and more people are closing down, shutting down from the outside world. So I'm really not sure. And and you know, culture has a lot of dimensions. So it's a very general question. I'm I'm not sure. What are you? referring to I mean is it about the internal internalization or is it about in, internal culture like I mean I mean culture can you know contains a lot of things really um you know I I've 
to be honest, I've um, I've stayed in China for many years, and I've also been to Europe, but I've never been to the States before. And um, for me, you know, when it comes to culture, I think you know both the United States is really a very fun kind of culture because because uh, you know for China it has obviously ha- obviously has a very long history, and for Europe it's it's actually the same because you know, like three hundred years ago, four hundred years ago, they are still dominated by the church or by the uh, religions, by the mythology. But for the United States, you know, it's, it's like they all came from nothing. And the history is like a blank 300 years ago, 400 years ago. Wow. So I think um, for me, I, I, I think sometimes I think because it comes from nothing, so it, it's more open-minded and, you know, it's it's like the United States is actually we can say it's immigrate uh, it's like a uh, immigrant immi- immigrant uh, country because it has a lot of people uh, uh, different kinds of people they have Asians they have black people they have white people so they are all together and at some point I think because of all these people are together in a society and as a result they should be like more diversified and they are more uh, open-minded but I also have some friends friends also come from the states or some friends they like stayed in the states for a long while long for a long period of time and they told me that um, it's actually in, in in the United States actually more like wealth dominated or money dominated and it's like you know in in, in the in the United States culture, if you have money, for example, when they are trying to rent a house or rent a dorm for their like study, and um, for example, there there is something broken in their house and they need to uh, and they, they, they don't want to pay that much of rent and uh, because of the broken things, and they told their householders and their householder just told him that. You ask for a lawyer, and we can go to the court, you know. And but my friend, he's not rich enough to hire a good lawyer, and the householder has a very good lawyer. So um, he thinks that the the United States culture are based on money or wealth. But I I don't know because I I've never been to the states before, so I I don't really know if that is true or not. Oh well, um, I think you know. For Chinese, we we make the rules and we leave the rules, and that's how we like survive for for, for five thousand years, and it's still the same in China now. So, um, I think the basic rule for almost every Westerners is to understand the rule in China. Uh, the the rule not only the laws or the regulations, but also like the unspoken rules, like um, guanxi, relationship in China. And also I think in China is like, um, how do you say it? Because, you know, we have this great wall. Do you know what is the great wall? I mean, the internet. Yeah, yeah. We have this the great wall. So uh, most Chinese, um, a majority of them are do not have access to the outside world and they are still very curious about um, foreigners, Westerners, and um, sometimes they can be uh, short-sighted and sometimes they can be extremely curious. It's not because they are not they are not good people or it's not because they are not well educated, it's just they don't have the access. So they are curious, they are just uh, like the new learners. So um, I think, you know, for foreigners is both uh, an advantage or, and, a dis- and a disadvantage because the, it, the, the good part about this is that you can, you can use the, the advantage that you are a Westerner and people are curious about you 
and you can you know you you can have the because for China the the media market is is still a growing market, so you can uh you can get good use of the social media to um to like create your your own profiles and the disadvantage part or the bad part is that you can be uh easily misunderstood or um you know or judged by other people because you are a Westerner. So I think it's like um is also two sides of one point. So you need to have uh you need to be mentally prepared of this kind of judgment and you can also uh get use of this good opportunity to you know introduce yourself and to uh, maybe um maybe use the social media to give yourself a very good well a good like reputation or something yeah